Welcome to the Carl and Ginger Family Channel. I've got a 70 mile per hour Traxxas X Max and I'm gonna strap it full of rockets and we're gonna launch it off a giant jump. Let's do it. Here we go guys. Here's where we're at guys. I have taken this awesome X-Max shell and made it look like Evil Knievel or like it belongs on Nitro Circus or the Carl and Ginger channel right here cause that's where it is, check it out. So I've got it all like painted up and ready to go like a giant stunt truck. And here's the thing, this is a single model rocket engine. The whole thing is designed to launch a rocket up into the air. And I've got not just one of these, but check it out. I've put together a whole bundle of a variety of these. So here's where it gets cool. These are some really big rockets right here and they're gonna launch off. And then I actually have a couple of two stage rockets on the back here as well. So once it gets launched down the track towards the jump, it's gonna have a second boost in order to launch it into the air if I can set it up all the right way. Let's hope. Here's the concept right now. I've got the shell of the truck here and I've already kind of glitter glued <laughs> and taped these model rockets together. The glue kind of spilled out of the back there, but I think it's gonna be okay. My idea initially was I was gonna attach these rockets to the back here, but I'm afraid of it making it over wheelie. And so I think I'm gonna figure out a way in order to attach it right here. What I'm kind of concerned about is that if I put the rockets back here, it's gonna push the back of the truck up as it goes up the ramp and it's just gonna backflip and go all crazy. But maybe if I can mount it up in here somehow, it'll be up higher and a little bit more forward Then, as it's racing and starting to go up the jump, hopefully it will push the nose in forward and down and keep it from flipping over. And then I'm just gonna have to steer straight. So I found this canister right here and I'm gonna try and mount the rockets inside of this container and then hook it all up on the back of the truck right here so that I don't melt any of the components inside or burn the truck to the ground. I can keep everything contained in here, have a safe place to launch. Now, I just gotta set it all up. I have to figure out, Kyle, how to put this together in there. Kyle's over here. He's kind of helping me come up with advice. So, so I gonna... found this canister. So I'm gonna tape it in there with Gorilla Tape like this and then mount it in the back. That makes it actually look right. really cool. So then even the back draft exhaust like will come back out and all be positive and go, right? Yeah, I think <laughs> this is gonna be really cool. I think so too. I honestly think it's gonna come down to my driving, right? Yeah. I don't know. I might have to launch it and let you drive it unless you're too nervous. I'm a little, I might be too <laughs> It is kind of tricky because it's gonna be probably going over 100 miles per hour for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. I'm trying to take this in here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to really tape it, <laughs> right? Yeah. I guess it's not rocket science. <laughs> Actually it is. <laughs> I forgot duct tape and so we had to go through our first aid kit and get emergency. <laughs> We're gonna have to resupply after this. <laughs> but we'll see. We're putting it all together now and it's launch day. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so I have to be able to tape this all on here at the right angle. Now that it's all put together, there's no turning back. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> In today's homeschool activity. Rocket science. Rocket science. Gone wrong. <laughs> we brought extinguishers. Okay, we've got our rockets strapped in the back. We just got to wire them all up. Oh figure out our ramp. Have you guys seen this jump? This, this is, is gonna crazy. Be crazy. We've been here before when we tried to create a homemade parachute recovery system that obviously didn't work, but hopefully we can launch better than we can catch. All right, who's taking bets that this RC car makes it or doesn't oh, today? Okay, is it gonna it's make gonna, it? It's gonna make it for sure. You think? Yeah, I, I don't think it's gonna make it, but catch on fire. Okay. I don't think the rockets are gonna be powerful enough to launch it and then it's gonna survive. I don't think it's gonna work. Okay, we got a couple hopefuls and a critic. So what do you think, Carl? Uh, I hope in my mind and imagination in my childlike wonderment that this thing goes clear into the sky and then we can't find it for 10 minutes. I hope it goes that far. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, let's launch this thing. Let's do it. From the start, we have the ramp, the jump, the landing, we're up here where the boys are gonna be standing. This is and cool. this this jump is like a mountain. This is a very tall, very dangerous situation. 
So we're taking all safety precautions. Yeah. And the boys are gonna be off to the side and we do have fire extinguishers in case the rockets decide to do their own thing. Yeah. No, we don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen. It's a surprise for all of us. What did you say? The closest that I've ever gotten to this is a bottle rocket. Right. And Carl was just saying how much experience he has in model rockets. I've never actually launched a real model <laughs> rocket. I've only ever done shenanigans with them. Well, I've never we'll used see. them for their intended purpose. Only ever done stuff. <laughs> this is super tricky. Now I have to figure out how I'm going to link all of these little rocket engines together into one launch. <laughs> how am I going to tandem all of these? That's the question. Did you get it? I don't know. <laughs> Think Time so. will tell. Kyle has one of the most important jobs of this whole thing. Launching the rocket. Kyle's gonna be launching the rocket, so he has to push the safety buttons in and the buttons so at this very that, same time. So very important job, red. Kyle. I know, these have to be red and then I have to go. And, and push, push them both at the same time? Yeah. Are you excited though? I mean, yeah, that is a cool job. It is. Here we go. We got a break in the traffic. All right, Kyle, you ready? Go ahead and plug in the keys. Okay. Push them in. Hold it down on the top with your fist. Two red lights. Push hard in. Three, Three two, two, one, one go! go! No launch. We've got some kind of cross. Oh, no! What's going on? Oh, no! I've got a wiring problem. Something I've got wired up here isn't providing enough juice for them to launch for some reason. Okay, Carl, we've had to make plan B. This is totally plan B. We ran back to the house. I did a little bit of experimenting and realized all we need is a really hot heat source to launch these rockets off. So we've got these neon colorful sparklers that <laughs> I found uh, down in the basement. And we're just gonna trim these off here and make ourselves homemade rocket fuses right here and just stick them in there. That looks so awesome. Then we'll light these off and hopefully they all go at once. It's like the 4th of July. <laughs> I know, except it's April Fools technically. This is it. There's no turning back now, guys. You ready? Yeah. Let's okay, do I'm it. Fuse this and then I got to drive this thing. Once the rockets start, I'm gonna send it. Here we go, guys! Rocket powered RC car. In five, four, four three, two, two, one, go! Oh my gosh. Who's it? Oh man! It's on fire! The metal's red hot! Get the fire extinguisher! It's on fire! It's on fire! Ready? Ready? Yeah, let's go! Okay. Oh my gosh, what happened? It's on fire! It's on fire! Good job, Luke! Woo! I think we're good, I think we're Okay, good. that's good, that's good. Oh. Woo! Woo. That's so cool! Holy smokes! <laughs> Look at the condition of the car. I wonder if this guy will still work. Look at it, it's all flipped over, the shell came off. The shell, it's completely melted right here. Look! Oh my god, the car's Nice! Oh. The X-Max is a know. beast! You guys think it gave it any more of a boost or extra jumping power or what? I, I don't know. I don't think so. That was pretty crazy. Well, look, the, look, the look. entire can here melted to the shell of the car. It fell off and melted its way oh, through no. the side. Man. Oh man. Look at that. Holy. Destroyed. It totally ripped the tape off. It melted everything. I think the whole canister got so hot, it melted the back of the truck and a hole in the side. It was literally red hot. I definitely think the rocket totally worked and it propelled the car in the beginning. Don't you guys think? Yeah. It, it, it launched and like it went off at the perfect time and it, and it jumped right as the rocket went off. It yeah, looks like awesome. maybe one or two of the rockets didn't quite fire, so we might have to revisit this. If you guys think we should do this again, let us know down in the comments below. Let us know if you guys think we were successful at building a rocket rocket powered RC car. I would think that we should fill the whole thing up, make it more fireproof and try this again. Make sure to check out all of our other cool videos on screen and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. That, that was, was crazy. Oh, Look at that.